The Top 5 Graphic Cards for Mining Are you looking to mine cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum? If so, you'll need some very specialized hardware to get the job done efficiently and cost-effectively. Since cryptocurrency mining involves solving complicated mathematical problems, it can only be accomplished by using high-end graphic cards (GPUs). But all GPUs are not created equal. Some are better at solving these problems than others, which means that some graphic cards are better at mining than others as well. So what's the best GPU for mining in 2021? In this script, we will list the top graphic cards. Before moving on, subscribe to our Cryptella channel and stay tuned for the latest crypto updates. Introduction Mining is a form of distributed consensus system that is used to confirm waiting transactions by including them in their own block, which will then be added to both an abstract blockchain and on top of a distributed ledger called the blockchain. This process uses powerful computers, called miners, to generate various numerical solutions, also called hashes, each hash being associated with some amount of transaction data. The mined coins are then divided among miners according to their processing power. Miners can use graphic cards as part of their computer systems, or graphic cards can be purchased separately and connected to your computer via USB. These cards have become popular recently due to cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Litecoin skyrocketing in value over time. In fact, it's estimated that these currencies have increased in value over 10 times since 2016 alone, making it more profitable than ever before to mine cryptocurrencies using a graphics card rather than buying them outright. However, there are numerous factors you need to consider when purchasing graphics cards for mining purposes, so we've compiled our top 5 picks below, along with details about why they made our list. Number 1. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 is most likely one of your best bets if you're looking to mine with graphic cards. Priced just below $400, it boasts more than 8GB of GDDR5 RAM and will run any Kryptonite algorithm around 100Hs on average. The top-end variant should have no problems running Kryptonite at 200Hs. It also supports other algorithms such as Ethereum's Ethash 70Hs and Zcash 450 Sol S. It has a power draw of only 150 watts, which means that you can easily power it from a standard PSU. In fact, that's what we recommend doing. Simply connect to a regular ATX PSU via an 8-pin PCI Express cable. You can find out more about how to build a mining rig using EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 here. Number 2. AMD Radeon RX 570 the AMD Radeon RX 570 is a great graphics card for new miners and veterans alike. It's very efficient, and with proper care, it can also last longer than more expensive models. It's not as powerful as some of AMD's other offerings, but it works at a good price if you tweak your settings properly. While older versions of Windows, Windows 7 especially, may have problems running these cards, there are workarounds that you can use to make them run on those systems. If you want something affordable that will still get you decent hash rates, look no further than the RX 570. It won't give you a ton of power, but its price tag makes up for that shortcoming. All in all, if you want an entry-level GPU without spending too much money, consider going with an RX 570. They cost about $200 or less on average and are relatively easy to find used or refurbished. For mining purposes only, however, buying one new is usually better because they tend to be cheaper and don't require additional accessories like power supplies or extra fans like their used counterparts do. A used version might save you some money up front, but it will cost you more over time due to high energy costs when compared to buying one new from scratch and then reusing it after your initial investment has been recouped. If you're liking this video so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to our channel. Number 3. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti NVIDIA's flagship graphics card is a beast when it comes to GPU-based cryptocurrency mining. The Pascal architecture it utilizes means it can process instructions extremely quickly, which is ideal when trying to hash out computationally intensive hashing algorithms. It also performs very well on its own as a graphics card meaning you won't have to worry about your gaming performance suffering if you decide to use one for your computer. It also requires less power than previous generations of NVIDIA cards, making it an economical choice overall. One drawback is that it isn't quite as powerful at mining Ethereum and other eFash coins compared to some other options on our list. 
However, if you want something that will work great with Zcash or Monero XMR, then look no further. Number 4. AMD Radeon Vega 56 The Vega 56 is an affordable graphics card, particularly given its excellent hash rate. If you're looking to mine Ethereum, Zcash, or Monero, it's a solid choice. However, when mining other cryptocurrencies that use less memory-intensive algorithms such as XMR and others, it might not be as efficient. This can make it difficult to compete with large ASIC farms which are able to churn out more hash power per watt of electricity consumed. Still, if you want to dip your toes into crypto mining without making a big investment up front, then it's worth considering. Plus, it performs better than many of AMD's previous generation cards, so there's also some potential long-term value here. We recommend Sapphire Radeon Nitro Plus RX Vega 56 8GB HBM2 10406NT due to its lower price tag than competing products while still delivering good performance levels on popular cryptos like Ethereum and Monero. It should also perform well on lesser-known coins using memory-intensive algorithms like SumoCoin, in addition, Sapphire is one of AMD's most reputable partners, so we expect good customer service from them if you need help troubleshooting issues down the road. They also have an impressive track record for creating stable graphics cards, so rest assured knowing your product will last a while. Number 5. ASUS Dual GeForce GTX 1070 OC Edition The ASUS Dual GeForce GTX 1070 OC Edition is powered by a dual fan design which allows for increased airflow over traditional single fan designs. It also comes with 0 dB technology, allowing users to enjoy games in complete silence when load and temperatures are low. The card features customizable RGB lighting, giving users a rainbow of colors to choose from. This model has a core clock speed of 1594 MHz and boost clock speed of 1784 MHz. With 8GB GDDR5 memory on board, it can handle most AAA titles at 1080p resolution. The GPU has 8GB GDDR5 memory on board and produces incredible gaming experiences in both 4K and VR gaming. In terms of power consumption, it draws 150 watts under full load conditions. It consumes approximately 300 watts while idle or at rest. This card features an aluminum heatsink that keeps temperatures down even during long hours of use or intense gaming sessions. If you're looking for one of the best graphic cards for mining, then look no further than the ASUS Dual GeForce GTX 1070 OC Edition, as it will not disappoint you. What do you think? Let us know what you liked, hated, or think we can improve on. Please leave a comment below and share with friends if it's worth it. As always, thanks for watching. Like this video and stay tuned to Cryptella.